Yo guys, what is up, it is Nick. Today we're going to be finishing up the first set of the game for me. We'll be finishing up the Team Hero set for the Patriots, as you could already tell from the title. I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for the Man of the Month, Von Miller, or what I'm going to do. I haven't quite decided yet, but let's go ahead and finish up my first set. Uh, the Malcolm Butler set. I wanted a cornerback, a better cornerback, especially to pair with Joe Hayden when I'm able to get him. So I went ahead and finished this set. I had to buy some Patriots players. I threw my Tom Brady and my uh, uh, Jamie Collins, the base ones you get. You can throw those, or not the base one, the starter cards that you get. You can throw those into these sets, so keep that into mind uh, with your favorite team if you selected your favorite team or whatever team you selected you will get uh, to throw them into these sets. And eventually they're useless to you, so you might as well just throw them on in. But here we go. Patriots Team Hero for August. Should be doing these every month. And there he is, Malcolm Butler, along with the Team Hero Collectible. Now what I wanted to look at on the Team Hero Collectible... Okay, so it says add this collectible to any Man of the Month set. Complete the set to earn a Man of the Month Elite player. Okay, so what you guys, I've got a tip now for this. On these collectibles, don't put them in unless you have all 32. What I'm going to do, we'll take a look at Malcolm Butler's stats here in a second. Um, now, you can redo the sets. You could continue to get Malcolm Butler's, I guess, if you wanted to, but... I don't think that's what anybody would do. It makes no sense. Unless one of these is really cheap to get done, which I highly doubt there is at this point. Uh, but I would suggest not putting the collectible into the Man of the Month set until it is complete, until you have all 32. Because the collectible does not say that it has to go into the Von Miller or the August collection. So what you can do is just hold on to them. Wait until you have 32 of them. Go ahead and do that set then. Or... If you don't want the Von Miller, go ahead and just wait until next month and go ahead and get uh, the player for next month as soon as it comes out and maybe sell it for as many coins as you possibly can at the very beginning. Uh, because most people are going to get this Von Miller, which is fine. It's a good card, uh, well worth it, I think. Uh, maybe not well worth it, but it'll be... It, it's a pretty good reward for what you have to do. Uh, and so next month, not a lot of people will have 32 team hero badges saved up so what you can do is you can save up all 32 and redeem it on the first day of the new man of the month and go ahead and try to sell that player for max value uh that i guess that's my biggest suggestion for this we did go ahead and sell todd Gurley. i'm playing with chris ivory now i'm really debating on whether or not to buy um uh Le'Veon bell i really want to get Le'Veon bell his speed's a little bit lower than what I would have liked, but I still am really interested in picking that card up. Also really interested in picking up the flashback to Marco Murray. I have enough coins for either running back that I really want, but who knows. If I can snag Jamal Charles for a deal, I'll probably just roll Charles for now. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at Malcolm Butler's stats. So I'll get to plug him in as my number one corner. Compare my guess to Marcus Peters. All right, so Malcolm Butler, 88 speed, 87 acceleration, 87 agility, 86 man, 90 zone, 86 press, 85 play rec, and a 76 catching. Go ahead. You can't sell these, right? These are... Where does it tell you that? Okay, I don't know where it tells you. It's I, I'm pretty sure they're not sellable. All right, let's see here. We saw all of that. Pretty good awareness. Decent carrying. Good tackle at 74. Good jumping at 87. Uh, none of that's too important. 76 pursuit, pretty good. Injury and stamina are decent, not important. Spec catch and catch in traffic. 66 hit power, higher than I thought it would be. Uh, so that's going to do it, guys. That's my first Team Hero card into our starting lineup, as well as the first uh, real elite player that I'm going to be keeping on my lineup, other than uh, the Morgan Burnett we have, because with Todd Gurley gone on offense, I don't have any elites over here on the offensive side of the ball. So 
Malcolm Butler is kind of the first elite that I earned in the game, I guess, because Morgan Burnett was pretty much free. You didn't have to pull it from a pack. You got it free in that pack. It was guaranteed, so I don't really count that as a as a challenging elite to get, but this wasn't really that bad. These team sets aren't too bad. I'd, I'd suggest trying to knock out some of them. Uh, I think the Malcolm Butler here cost me... I had almost all the bronzes, but the bronzes I was able to get for like 300 coins. So they weren't a big deal. Uh, the silvers, I think I paid, I needed six silvers, and I think I paid a K for five of them, and then I sniped one for 150. Uh, same with the bronze, I got one for 150 for the bronze. Uh, and then for the gold, you want to make sure when you're searching those up that you make sure and um, either search by 70 to 79 or figure out the specific players that are um, the lower overalls and search those up specifically because I almost started buying them for 2k. I was actually able to get the three remaining golds that I needed for 1k a piece. So make sure you go ahead and check that out and make sure you're not overpaying for any of the gold cards that you're buying. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know if there's any team heroes that are really good that I need to look into getting or any team collections that are decently cheap to finish that I should get done while I can. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.